Augusta Industrial Fund Limited has now reopened for investment. With a minimum investment of only $10,000, it offers the opportunity to invest in a portfolio of strategically selected properties, providing both tenant and location diversification within a strongly performing sector of the New Zealand property market. Industrial. Investment in Augusta Industrial's third capital raise is expected to provide investors with a forecast pre-tax cash distribution to 31 March 2022 of 5% per annum, paid to investors monthly, along with the potential for capital growth. Mark Francis is a director of Augusta Industrial Fund Limited and the CEO of Centuria New Zealand, formerly known as Augusta, who manage the portfolio. I formed Augusta almost 20 years ago to provide New Zealanders access to quality commercial and industrial property. Following Augusta's merger last year with one of Australia's largest property fund managers, Centuria Capital Group, we have now adopted the Centuria brand and are part of a leading Australasian property fund management platform with approximately 10.5 billion Australian dollars of trans-Tasman assets currently under our management. We maintain the same conservative approach that we've always had. We understand what our investors want, a focus on quality assets, preservation and growth of capital, and sustainable and stable monthly distributions. These are the long-term strategic investment objectives of Augusta Industrial. Augusta Industrial is a limited liability company established in April 2018 as an open-ended, unlisted property fund. It has performed well with an annualised pre-tax total return of 15% per annum since inception. This total return is comprised of cash distributions and capital growth. Industrial remains the number one commercial property sector, continuing its stellar run. The industrial sector has generated higher total returns than the other two major market sectors, office and retail, over the past 15 years. In line with the industrial property sector as a whole, Augusta Industrial has seen strong demand from its investors. Augusta Industrial's initial and subsequent equity raises totaled $190 million and both were oversubscribed with many investors missing out. We are pleased to advise that another quality asset has been secured and Augusta Industrial is now open for further investment. Investment in this third capital raise will be used for the purpose of acquiring this new asset, funding further acquisitions and investment within the industrial portfolio, meeting offer costs and reducing gearing to provide a platform for growth. Upon acquisition of the new asset, the industrial portfolio will include 12 quality assets, 10 located in Auckland, one in Wellington and one in Christchurch. The independent valuation for the total portfolio is $463.25 million, and diversification of the income stream is provided through 50 tenants, including global and multinational names such as Toll, Downer, Lynn Fox, Repco and Fletcher Steel, along with well-known national tenants such as MacPac, Pacific Steel and Icepack, part of Halls Group. The new acquisition is a brand new, large-scale, architecturally designed A-grade industrial facility that is currently under construction in Tidal Road, Mangere, Auckland. Augusta Industrial will take ownership of the property upon completion, which is scheduled for this September. The major tenant at Tidal Road is the leading beverage distributor Hancock's Wine, Spirit and Beer Merchants Limited. A new 12-year lease commences its settlement with the premises to be used as their national office and distribution facility. A second smaller warehouse is subject to a four-year lease from settlement to Auto Pacific, a market leader in vehicle accessories and towing solutions. This substantial 4.9 hectare property is well located in a new industrial business park in one of Auckland's most central logistics locations, Mangere, and only minutes from State Highway 20 and Auckland Airport. The purchase price for Tidal Road is $48.83 million and it's valued at $55 million on an as-if complete basis as at 31 March 2021. The existing properties within the Augusta Industrial Portfolio. 510 Mount Wellington Highway, Mount Wellington, Auckland is a substantial 3 hectare industrial property which is located in the middle of the sought after Auckland industrial suburb of Mount Wellington. It's in a prominent and high exposure position with three road frontages and is only 800 metres from New Zealand's largest shopping centre, Sylvia Park, and 300 metres from the motorway interchange. The property is leased to a variety of well-known tenants, including multinational automotive parts supplier Repco, major infrastructure construction company McConnell Dow, the Australian-owned and operated ASX-listed software distributor Dicker Data, and a Z Energy service station. 
A portion of surplus land, which we as the manager consider could potentially be developed, is positioned to the eastern side of the site towards Carmont Place. 116 to 152 Swanson Road, Henderson, Auckland is a substantial 5.6 hectare property with an extensive 192 metres of road frontage to one of Henderson's main vehicular thoroughfares of Swanson Road. The property is comprised of two well-presented main structures leased to four established tenants. An industrial building which has been extensively refurbished and modernised provides both high and medium stud warehousing and a substantial freestanding high stud warehouse completed in 2011 is located directly at the road frontage. A portion of surplus land which we as the manager consider could be developed is positioned to the northwestern periphery of the property. 12 Brick Street, Henderson, Auckland is an impressive two hectare modern industrial property that was constructed in 2010. In our opinion, this is one of Auckland's premium industrial buildings. It offers high stud warehouse and manufacturing facilities, along with high quality office and amenities. The property has a long term lease to DNH Steel, one of New Zealand's largest structural steel fabricators. 20 Paisley Place, Mount Wellington, Auckland, is a substantial industrial property well located in the established industrial suburb of Mount Wellington. The property incorporates high demand cool store and distribution facilities and is tenanted by Icepack Limited a subsidiary of Halls Group. They have 10 years remaining on their current lease term, rights of renewal until 2043, and annual rental growth fixed at 2% per annum. 5 and 21 Beach Road, Otahuhu, Auckland, is a substantial 4.1 hectare industrial complex. It's well located in a prominent corner position within the heavy industrial precinct of Otahuhu. The established tenants are Fletcher Steel and Pacific Steel, who both have long-term leases. 27 to 29 Neils Road, East Tamaki, Auckland is a well-presented property situated in a sought-after and established location in the heart of East Tamaki, one of Auckland's premier industrial areas. The property comprises a large industrial steel store with an architecturally designed office situated to the road frontage. It benefits from desirable heavy industrial zoning and has a long-term lease to one of the largest privately owned steel distributors in Australasia, Vulcan Steel Limited. 862 to 864 Great South Road, Penrose, Auckland, is located in arguably New Zealand's preeminent industrial precinct and bordered by the main arterial Great South Road and the Southern Motorway. This substantial property benefits from sought after heavy industrial zoning and provides both income and a development opportunity. The property is tenanted by Graphic Packaging, a subsidiary of the New York Stock Exchange listed company and was significantly refurbished in 2019, including construction of a new office, new roof and canopy. Land in the Penrose precinct is scarce, and a development or sale opportunity remains for a portion of the site fronting Great South Road. 265 Albany Highway, Rosedale, Auckland, comprises four modern standalone buildings situated within the established North Harbour Industrial Estate, well located along the eastern side of the Albany Highway. The property benefits from split risk provided through five long-standing tenants including Good Health Products Limited with a large purpose-built industrial premise with impressive offices. There's an area of surplus land to the rear of the Good Health building which currently forms part of the Good Health lease area that we as the manager consider could be developed in the future subject to tenant demand and financial viability. 48 Honan Place, Avondale, Auckland is situated just off Rosebank Road, located in the established industrial area of the Rosebank Peninsula. The area is one of the closest high-density industrial precincts to the Auckland Central Business District and is therefore a sought-after location for industrial occupiers. The property provides modern high-stud warehousing with a long-term lease to an established tenant. The hub, Seaview Wellington, is a five-hectare multi-tenanted warehouse and distribution facility located in Seaview, Wellington's largest industrial area. This area attracts a wide range of tenants, particularly distribution and logistics occupiers. National and global tenants including Fujitsu, Linfox Logistics, Toll Logistics and Downer provide diversification of income. Castle Rock Business Park, Hillsborough, Christchurch. This large 7.9 hectare corporate park for industrial tenants is strategically located in the popular eastern industrial suburb of Hillsborough, both near the Littleton Port and only 10 minutes from the Christchurch CBD. Its impressive appearance has attracted 15 well-known tenants across the 13 buildings, providing diversification of income. Value-add opportunities also exist as the low 41% site coverage allows for further development 
and the single title was currently being subdivided into five lots to provide greater flexibility in the longer term. Augusta Industrial intends to continue to grow the number of assets in the portfolio, along with adding further value to the existing properties. Assets will continue to be strategically selected for their ability to maintain or increase cash distributions to shareholders, provide diversification benefits, or provide potential capital growth. The gearing ratio as at 31 March 2021 is 37.0% and is forecast to reduce to 27.9% on settlement of Tidal Road. The intention is to maintain a gearing target of 30 to 40%, which may increase to 45% on a short-term basis to facilitate acquisitions in the future. Cameron Bagri is a leading economist with over 20 years' experience. For over 11 years, he was the chief economist at ANZ Bank. Commercial property is an asset class that is sensitive to how the economy performs. The recovery and uplift in the New Zealand economy, partly driven by low interest rates, has been reflected in vibrancy across the commercial sector, particularly industrial, although some components such as retail face uncertainty as work and shopping patterns evolve. Interest rates have lifted off incredible lows, but the Reserve Bank in New Zealand continues to communicate that considerable time and patience will be required for them to meet their inflation objective and get employment above or at its maximum sustainable level. In the Reserve Bank's own words, they expect a prolonged period of time to pass before they achieve their goals, and they express this via low interest rates. And of course we know that residential property has recently drawn the eye of government and the Reserve Bank shifting investors' attention to the commercial property sector as an alternative, of which industrial was the strongest performing and has been for the past 15 or so years. I agree with the comments made in the Reserve Bank's latest financial stability report in regards to industrial property. Strong demand and low levels of new supply have underpinned industrial property values, with vacancy rates remaining near historical lows of around 3%. These stable supply conditions and demand growth for distribution and logistics space in particular have led to steady rental growth. Consumer shifts to e-commerce that have accelerated in the past 12 months are likely to see these favourable conditions continue. One of the most frequently asked questions we receive relates to liquidity. Specifically, can an investor sell their investment? Firstly, depending on market conditions, Augusta Industrial may look to list on the NZX main board in the future. There's no other established market for trading the shares. However, here at Centuria NZ, we operate a secondary market facility which matches the buyers and sellers of shares. The liquidity of a share is very much related to the performance of the underlying assets. Since 2014, we've facilitated secondary sale transactions with a total sales value of over $41 million. While this value is a small percentage of our total equity under management, Liquidity can also be provided through the sale of properties and the return of equity. Since 2014, approximately 400 million of equity has been realised through the sale of properties and return to our investors. With the investment available in multiples of $1,000 with a minimum of $10,000, we are proud to increase New Zealanders' accessibility to a diversified industrial property portfolio in this high-performing asset class. As the cornerstone investor in Augusta Industrial, Centuria Capital NZ's interests are aligned with other shareholders. Centuria Capital NZ will maintain a minimum 10% shareholding in Augusta Industrial. With the previous oversubscriptions, along with the sustainable and stable monthly income and potential for capital growth, we expect strong interest in this offer. Augusta Industrial welcomes this opportunity for you to co-invest with Centuria Capital NZ and we bring you this investment with our highest recommendation. The offer closes on 23 June. For more information, including a copy of the product disclosure statement, please contact Mike Hawker, Samara Phillips, Sarah Preble or Shirley Leung from the sole selling agents Bailey's Real Estate.